Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ and I am here with my man Rick Peoples. Rick, you good? Yeah, I'm fantastic, Jeff. Good. We're, we're here today to talk to you about the DeFi ecosystem. Rick and I have talked about this with you guys a little bit and we're going to continue the conversation because it is such a versatile, flexible and powerful system that works together in any number of configurations to deliver wireless DMX. So we're going to take a look at these units that are in the ecosystem, what they are and what the differences are as a review again, because we still get a lot of questions about this when we're out on the road. And it's understandable why, because people are really interested in this. Then we're going to do a little application of a common application, which is uplighting using a couple different configurations here to demonstrate that. So Rick, starting on your right there, kind of walk us through what these different units are, the differences. Right. The first one we have here is the Flarecon Air 2. We'll follow that up with the DeFi XLR pack. Continue on down to the DeFi hub. And last but certainly not least, the DeFi USB. Now I know you're saying, okay, that's a lot of products. That's a lot to stomach. So I'm gonna break it down a little bit better for you. We have one item up here that's actually powered by electricity that you must plug into the wall. That's the DeFi hub. This is a transmitter and or a receiver. You can make it receive or transmit DeFi and it always requires electricity. So you never have to worry about the battery running down. This is going to be your most powerful transmitter in the family. We have the Flarecon Air, which is battery operated, absolutely no wires. This only transmits DeFi. To go along with that, the DeFi XLR, they're both battery powered also. This carries a separate transmitter and a separate receiver. So you have one transmitter, kind of similar to the Flarecon, that will transmit your signal, and it goes to a separate receiver, which can be the DeFi Hub, the DeFi XLR, or the DeFi USB. Anything DeFi will work together if you own Freedoms that has DeFi built in. So any of these devices will transmit to a, a Freedom PAR. So Rick, Tell us what DeFi is, because that's in all of these products. That is the Chevet flavor of wireless DMX. Perfect. Easy come. Again, one of the cool things about all these is, number one, they will communicate to each other. So anything that you've bought in the past, it doesn't matter. We've just expanded this. The DeFi XLR is exclusive to anything in the Chevet line that has the USB designation or has the USB slot in the back for it. So you can plug this device right in. The really cool thing about this is again, it's a transmitter or receiver, so it will do both. It requires no electricity from a plug and it has no battery to charge. The unit itself powers this device, so you never have to worry about getting to your gig and it not being charged. Perfect. And we've definitely had those experiences yes. where we've gotten to a gig and we failed to charge something. Absolutely. The DeFi XLR allows you to take the DeFi ecosystem and bring it to things that normally wouldn't have it. Freedoms already have the DeFi, but Intimidators do not. They also do not have a USB port on them for the DeFi USB stick. So Intimidators and other effect lights were out in the cold. Now the DeFi USB allows you to take anything with a three pin XLR and get a wireless DMX signal to it or to transmit out of it with the transmitter. So it's really easy to see here the versatility. That's the whole design be behind these products and the way they work together. We've really tried to make whatever gear that you have be able to be included in the wireless DMX universe. And that's what these are all about. I know the DeFi XLR pack is also comes with uh, three receivers and one transmitter. And it actually charges the units from the base itself, you plug the base into the wall. You can see here it's also got USB charger, so you can even plug your phone in this unit as well. But the great thing is, if for some reason you found an individual product or an individual transmitter or receiver that wasn't charged up, each one has a micro USB slot on it so you can charge them individually. And this is as easy as setting, there's no more dip switches, you just set the LEDs on the unit itself to match whatever you're transmitting or receiving and they start talking to each other. So you, you can really take whatever fixtures you have and control them wirelessly. Now, you still need power, of course. So if they're not battery powered fixtures, that's something to take into consideration. But think of the time saving. And as we all know, time is money. 
in terms of wiring DMX and programming lights and all of that um, with when you have this sort of flexibility. So with that, Rick, why don't we take a look at a couple fixtures and demonstrate how we might be able to uplight a room using this technology. All right, let's do that. Okay, Rick, so I see you brought an Obey hardware controller up here just to demonstrate. Tell us how you've got this hooked up. Well, right now, I have just a regular XLR cable coming out and going to the DeFi hub. Now, I should, we, we should mention, this is just for demonstration purposes. You could that do this correct. wirelessly as well from whatever controller you're using. Yes, I could actually plug the DeFi XLR into any console, any controller that has a three pin and transmit without the cable. I could take the Flarecon Air 2. It has cables. If I didn't want to use the app, I could just plug in that cable directly into the controller, mm -hmm. transmit via wireless DMX. The only time I need the cable is going to the DeFi hub, which is what we're doing right now. Excellent. So we got out of the controller into this DeFi hub, which is just a, for a demonstration. It could be any of these combination of things. This is obviously powered. Um, and then where is that being transmitted to? Through the magic of wireless technology, yes. we're beaming a 2.4 gigahertz signal over to the BT PARs that we have set up. Yes. One has the DeFi XLR so as a receiver. We've got the SlimPAR T12 BT that has the DeFi XLR receiver in the back of it. And we have the SlimPAR Q Q12 USB, which has the DeFi USB in the back of it. Correct. Okay. Both of which are receiving signal from here. Yes. So the point of that is two separate products. Both are slim pars, but they're two different slim pars. One's a tri-color, one's a quad color. One is a Bluetooth compatible light. One is a DeFi USB slot on the back of it. So the, the point is, it doesn't matter what the fixtures are, as long as they have the right inputs, we can talk to them through this. That's right. Okay, so let's see this actually in practice now. So you've got it into the Obey, and now we're just gonna Yes, yeah, simple RGB, both these, all of these devices transmit or receive one full universe of DMX. So just because we're using a couple of lights on channel one DMX, it's just for demonstration. You can fill up your universe and program accordingly and you'll send all this stuff out and have a great light show wirelessly. But for here, RGB and we have one quad. So you can see that I can get the amber on one, but the other unit doesn't have amber, so it won't respond and I can go through any color that I want through my controller and make anything happen. I can record a show and then play that back mm -hmm. and have wirelessly. So it's a little bit, a lot easier to set up. Granted, a lot of your lights are gonna have power cables, but that's readily available mm -hmm. at most venues that you go to. Uh, if you're using wireless up lights like the Freedom, you won't need any cables and you're still just gonna pick up the signal because you're transmitting DeFi. So one consideration is if you've got 30 PAR units that you regularly uplight a room with, then you will need transmitters and receivers for each one of those, or at least a receiver for each one of those. The DeFi USB sold separately, so you can buy a bunch of those. Same with the DeFi XLR. Now this is the XLR pack, which comes with the three receivers and one transmitter, but the transmitters and receivers are also sold separately. So you can bring them all, you can charge them in a pack, you can have any of that flexibility so that each one of your lights can receive wireless signal. And of course, if you have freedoms, none of that is an issue at all. So the idea again, versatility, flexibility, convenience. And we're gonna keep coming at you with different configurations and different ways to hook these up to kind of get your wheels turning and show you just how easy it can be to have a wireless lighting universe. So Rick, thanks for walking us through this. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ. We'll see you next time.